Happy. Welcome on back to the DDK CAD Technology Systems ongoing series of the Composite Panel Builder software. And in this session, we're going to talk about a new function, um, and it's for the estimators of the ACM world. Um, so this uh, utility will help them figure out how much uh, uh, material they're going to need at the front end of a job. So to get started, um, what we normally do is we load a a PDF from the architect or a drawing. So what we're going to do is bring in one and we're just going to insert it right here and it's a 8th inch scale so it's a 96 scale factor. Uh, that's what you do and uh, we're just going to change layers so we can see a uh, um, difference in here. So what we have is the background that you normally would get from an architect. And um, so next step would be to actually lay out some panels similar to this one over here. These are identical, by the way. And I just want to show you how easy it is to actually uh, lay out panels. First thing we're going to do is uh, launch the Composite Panel Builder software, get our functions ready. And it's going to bring up our main dialog. And this is where all the main settings take place. But uh, everything's already taken care of. Just need to uh, recognize that the path setting is where all the reports and uh, output files from the program are going to be written to uh, so we can come back later and get them. So first thing we're going to do is uh, grab the polyline command and we're going to draw a uh, horizontal um, horizontal line representing the uh, center line of the reveals for our panel grid that's going to be dropped in here. So that was easy because the uh, the dimensions were already laid out. So this time we're going to actually uh, draw the uh, polyline from top to bottom. But now we need to divide it into seven equal segments because the spacing between them is two foot. So two times uh, seven is 14. So we have a uh, function called div polyline PL and it's built into the composite panel build. And we're going to divide this up by seven. That's how easy that was. So uh, next thing, we're going to use the panel grid utility found right here in our composite panel builder. We're going to select the uh, horizontal and the vertical, and we just have to drop it in right there. And that's how simple that was. Now we're going to use our converting of the panels utility. This will turn them into composite panels. And we just window the selection we have. And we're going to start with T01. T01 and then it'll automatically number them and we're going to make them the blue because we have two colors selected here. So while it's putting them in there we're going to talk about it. It's actually going to know what the perimeter extrusion types are because in our settings of the composite panel builder we told it that we want male and female um, extrusions going around. Uh, a lot of systems it would be atypical um, perimeter extrusion PE or something like that uh, and other things you can do here uh, if you need to uh, you know amplify the uh, scale factor of that uh, panel tags you can just do that all in one suite like that so um, it probably takes you about maybe 10 10 minutes to lay out the you know the total area there okay now that we've got our panels laid out um, and numbered and everything like that what we do is we have a new utility inside our um, composite panel builders for selecting elevation panels. Now normally the, the optimization is used for the finished products so that you can lay them out on the cut sheets. But uh, this is a front end utility so we're going to look at the elevation panel because we don't we don't want to go through all the uh, detailed information of actually doing uh, the flat panels. So we're just going to use the elevation panels instead. So we select that and we window the area. Now this is also good for if you're going to add to the scope of work another area of the building or another uh, side of the walls or something like that you're going to put panels on. So we could actually just estimate what uh, that particular uh, scope change is going to affect uh, how much more material we're going to need. So once we select the panels we hit return. And it pulls it up in a nice dialog like this and shows us all the panels, their numbers, and their stretch out heights and all that. We're just interested in the blue ones right now. And um, we're going to actually um, have two, two possibilities here for our estimating. This uh, estimation right here will let us go straight into the drawing and actually lay out the sheets and show you how they fill. 
Um, so here we can just pick um, a sheet size that we want and we can keep coming back and doing this playing this game over and over again until we optimize the sheet size so maybe uh, maybe you know it's a 10 foot sheet or maybe it's a 16 foot sheet length maybe it's not 62 maybe it's a 50 inch so just by playing around with it you can figure that out uh, one of the other things we can do is actually use some leftover scrap material and we can uh, go edit a file from an output from Excel and then you know you could have scrap material all different sizes and if you select that option then your uh, program will will use those sheets first and then fill in uh, the other ones but we're not doing that we're gonna go with full sheets new sheets and and that's the next thing we do is say fill sheets and we find a nice clean location on the drawing and there they go so based on that we need 20 20 sheets of material so that's the one way to optimize and you can look at those um, the fill uh, yields and stuff like that and again these are just the elevation panels now let's go to the second report style and that's more for uh, an Excel format so uh, let's go back into the same thing optimize sheet fill elevation panels window the same thing and this time we're going to select the uh, custom report uh, let's make it blue again so inside custom report is going to write that file out and let's go uh, right there it's 8, 825 panel list color blue I and I okay so let's go navigate to the uh, uh, automation program demo folder there's our composite panel builder estimator so this it's an Excel template let's just open that up for a second uh, here it is uh, we're going to enable it um, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to go and find that file that we just created, and it's called 85 Blue I and I. Right here it is. So we're going to double click on that, and it's going to pull it into the program or into our sheet. Now at the bottom of the sheet, we can actually do summaries and stuff like that, but it it all depends on what what you're looking for. So as you can see in here, we got the the panel numbers, the quantities, how you know what the stretch out height is and width, and because it's a actually taking the um, the folds on all the ends it's actually unfolding it so we're getting that extra inch or three-quarter inch or inch and a half whatever the return legs are that's what we're getting in our uh, stretch outs and then we got the square footage of the material and the finish of course and then the, the vertical and horizontal folds that's if we have a plan or a section attached to any row or column of panels um, that would say how many folds some people will actually charge based on how many folds they have um, and then we, again we got the extrusion type lengths per panel and then at the bottom you could uh, sum that up and uh, that's all you need to do so based on that um, uh, that's what the program does it gives you a quick estimate on just certain areas and like I said before if we if we just wanted to know that particular area right there uh, we would just run it and we'd, we would just see uh, a short list of, of panels and then it would be like just this area right here you know maybe that's a scope change and that's that's how many panels are in that area and it's like 35 the overall uh, drawing I think had 80 some so if you have any questions just give me a call and uh, we'll uh, walk through it hey thanks